Welcome back to my Star Wars Legends Expanded Universe Chronological Timeline Order, where I go through the Expanded Universe according to my personal timeline order and rank each and every individual piece of media on a 10-point scale. Today I have the short story, And Your Sunrider, which is written by George R. Strayton and published in the Tales of the Jedi Companion in 1996. The short story was published by West End Games and takes place circa 4006 BBY. The short story was released in the Companion in the year 1996. In this story, we're introduced to And Your Sunrider, who is a young fellow who uh, the past two generations of his family have all been Jedi. And uh, his grandfather was named Jev Skywalker. But when And Your's a boy out on the farm where uh, his family lives, Jev departs to go fight at Kreis II with several other Jedi. And Andir's very worried about his grandfather, and he falls into this deep depression because he thinks he's never going to see his grandfather again because he doesn't return from the fight. Well, eventually, a year later, Jev does show up, but as a Force ghost. So that means Jev was killed, and he tells Andir that he's going to play a part in the upcoming wars that Jev has foreseen. And so Andir's all like, oh boy, there's wars coming. How am I to take this? He's a little confused. But Jev tells him, he has an unlikely part to play in the war, and he should just accept that that is what the Force has him um, as what the Force wills for Andir to do, and it might not be what it seems, right? So Andir uh, continues to train and eventually is invited by an old friend of Jev Sunriders, who is Chema, who we know about from the other stories. He's the Deveronian who went dark side but was redeemed. Um, I reviewed that short story a couple short stories back. Well, Chama invites uh, Andir Sunrider to come train with him, and Cham Chama believes Andir is a promising student, and Andir does great there, um, and uh, is fully become a Jedi Knight now. And uh, this is just after the birth of his daughter, whose name is Vima Sunrider, and his wife's name is Nomi Sunrider. These are going to be extremely important names going forward for the next several comic issues and short stories that I talk about. What's interesting here is uh, the story ends with kind of spoilers for where the comic's at because where the short story ends is where we begin with the characters from the comics. So I'm not going to talk about that right now. I'm going to talk about that later when I actually get to the comics. But for that reason, this one might be, if you've not read the comics and you're reading in chronological order, it does spoil what's going to happen in the comics a little bit. But um, it... It, it does inevitably lead to Andrew Sunrider's uh, death to some thugs, and then his wife has to deal with uh, the consequences and pick up the lightsaber and continue the Jedi legacy in the Sunrider family. So, what did I think of this short story? You know, it adds some to the grand scheme of things, but not a lot. It does add a little bit of backstory for uh, and your Sunrider, but not a lot to where I would say it's essential reading before the Tales of the Jedi comics. Uh, does it add some information? Yes, it's nice connect. It's nice with the connection there to Chama. It's nice with um, learning about Jev Sunrider and how he went to Kreis II, which I believe Kreis II is where uh, Arca Jeth first discovered battle meditation from a couple short stories back. But I could be wrong about that. So I think that's another connection there. So it's got some connections. It's got some new stuff, some lore building. It's got some good backstory for Andrew Sunrider because his character is a one-note character in Tales of the Jedi, the comics themselves. He's there, and then he's gone, and, you know, he's not that important. So this short story does add some important information that makes him more of a uh, character that you can care about, if that makes sense, because it does expand on him a little bit. It's only, like, two pages long, so it's not that long, but at the same time, does it add much... No, I wouldn't say it does. So that's why I'm going to give this a 2 of 10, just simply because it does retread some already seen ground release date order-wise by summarizing some of the comics. And what it adds, while cool, is not a lot. It's not enough to make it uh, worthwhile, in my opinion. But what about you guys? What did you think of 
and your Sunrider from the Tales of the Jedi Companion. Did you think that this short story is worth your time? If you've not read it yet, I recommend that you go over and listen to Marcel Ryan, the Revanchist on YouTube's audio drama reading of the story. He reads the story in its entirety on YouTube in a very professional manner. Uh, the link to that very reading is in the description below, so go over there and check it out if you want to hear what this sto short story is about. Um, I would say it's well worth your time because Marcel makes all of these stories much better just because of his silky smooth voice while he reads these stories. So definitely uh, go and check this story out over there if you haven't read it yet. That being said, I still don't think the short story is great, uh, but what did you guys think of this short story? Is it better than I give it credit for? Let me know.